Well, good morning from Takayama. The rains finally appear to have stopped, even if it's temporarily. So we decided let's go out and make a street food video. As you already know, Takayama is known for its Hida beef, so a lot of the street food is going to be featuring that beef. But we're also curious to see what else we can find, so we're yeah. going to take you over to the market. It's actually more like a street. The morning market is gone. Um, but yeah, they have lots of tasty bites, so let's go eat. Okay. All right, so we're starting off with something sweet, ice cream to be exact. And inside this package is what is was advertised as chestnut ice cream. And as you can see, there are two of them shaped like chestnuts. So I'm gonna see if I can actually break it apart. Oh, I can, look at that. So inside it appears, I'm not sure if it's vanilla or chestnut ice cream. So I'll let you know in a second here. And we paid 216 yen for the two little ice cream wafers. Yeah, it's vanilla ice cream inside of um, chestnut shaped, I guess, outer layer. <laughs> it's tasty though, still. I mean, at least there's a lot of vanilla ice cream in there. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> you have quite? <laughs> All right, guys, it is now my turn. We're going to be sampling the Hida beef bun, and it basically looks like a steamed bun. It's stuffed with Hida beef, which we've already had a taste of when we went to the ramen shop. Ooh, it feels very plump, very full. Try to digging it into that. Uh huh. And so, Hida beef comes from, we've mentioned this in another video, mm. but it comes from the black haired cows of this particular prefecture. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, this it's very sweet. high quality. There's a bit of beef. Okay. I feel like there's some bamboo shoots in there. Oh. And the meat is so tender. Ooh. How much it's was that? Really I forgot nice. to ask. Very good question. 430, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. And what makes this the steam bun a lot more expensive than other ones is, is the heat of beef that mm -hmm. brings up the price a lot. <laughs> heat of beef costs a fortune. Yeah. Like it's really tasty, but you pay a premium price for you it. You do. And Sam here is also going to get a taste of yeah. the heat of beef. Thanks for leaving me a little bit. Yeah. Mmm. Oh man. I love that. It's good. I think we need to go in search of more Hida beef street food. Mm -hmm. I also want to have more steamed buns. Maybe some sweet ones later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just perfect. After eating our last little snack, we found a vendor directly across who specializes in Hida beef. All we got Hida. three different Hida beef food items. Yep. So this first one is a croquette yep. with mashed potato and Hida beef. Right. Then we also got a Hida beef skewer, which he grilled right in front of us. Yeah. And this one, it kind of reminds me of the takoyaki. So I feel like it's going to be the same dough but stuffed with Hida beef instead of octopus. So, it all, all looks wonderful. Beef. And yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited to try more Hida beef. Okay, so yeah. Sam is going to try the croquette. Exciting to try that. I'm going to break it in half. And this Ooh. one was 190, so it's the yes. cheapest thing we've got so far. Ooh, look, you can see a lot of potato in there. It's a very nice. thick amount of potato. Looks I think there's just probably just a scant amount of the Hida beef. Yes. That's what would keep the price low. Oh yeah, that's really good. Super crunchy on the outside, and then on the in the middle and in the, in the inside, it's basically like a mashed potato consistency. Ooh. I'm not tasting a lot of the beef. I can see little fragments of it Let's here, see. but the beef is, is very in there. the beef is very um, sparingly put in put it's inside of the mash. Yeah, it's mostly just potato mash, but it tastes really good. Oh, that's just so nice because it's a little bit chilly today. And it's nice having some warm potato mash. Yeah, mm. something starchy. So this was our most expensive food item right here. This is a skewer with Hida beef. 
and we paid 450 yen. That's like a little under $4.50 for a few little bites of meat. Yeah. But we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six mini little pieces six to bites. savor. So we can all try it. We better savor them We can them both well. try it. How is that? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah? That is really good. Wow. It's tender, but it's like a little bit fatty because it's kind of like released the juices over the meat. Okay. So you kind of have like a little bit of fat coating it all. Wow. And then it has pepper on top. Yummy, man. And it's just surprisingly tender for beef. It sounds so good. I can't wait it's to try really it. It's really good. I think you need to have a little bite I so do. you know what you're missing out on. I will try that. This heated beef is going fast, guys. It's because it's good. We have to nibble oh. it. Oh my gosh, it's just so juicy. I know. Oh, and I love the pepper seasoning too. Mm -hmm. mm, I know, of, very simple flavors, right? There's a bit of smokiness, yeah. It's super delicious. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's worth trying. So that's the sad part, the price, because <laughs> I'd love to get a few more skewers. Yeah, if it was if it was half the price or something, I'd probably get like four, four yeah. or five skewers of these <laughs> for about like, 10 bucks. Yeah, but because it's double now. <laughs> moving on. Yes, moving on to heated beef in crispy ball form. Okay. And like you had already mentioned, it does look a lot like what something we've had before. Yeah, takoyaki. Takoyaki, yeah. And we paid 350 yen for this. Yeah. I'm gonna actually see if I can break it. Ooh. Ah, hopefully. Dissection time. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, you see, the, you see the heated beef there? Wow, in oh. it goes, just like that. Just oh, like that's that. so nice. Crispy on the outside, a little bit doughy and battery in the middle, and then you also get a little bit of the beef too. Yeah, and it looked like it had some onions, no? Was that it? It did, yeah, it had some onions and meat with it. That's really tasty. Not as good as the meat on the stick, but you know what, it'd be hard to top that. Inside you can take a tea break. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Two more snacks to sample today. So we found this little shop and they have a stand on the street where you can buy street food. But then inside the shop, they've got like a little table. Yeah, he invited, us, sit down he invited us in here because it was raining. I know, it's raining out. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining again, can you believe it? <laughs> um, so yeah, we bought these two little crackers. This one said seven seasonings. Yeah. So it smells seasoned. And the other one is <laughs> what, wasabi uh, yeah, so seaweed? It's wrapped in seaweed and there's wasabi in here as well. So yeah, one of them was 150, the other one 120. Yeah. I think the the, um, yeah. one, the wasabi one was the more expensive, if yeah. I remember correctly. All right, you're trying the seven seasoned one. Mm -hmm. it's super crunchy. Yeah. We can hear the, the loud crunch. This is really tasty. You like it, huh? Lots of strong flavors going on. We've got some pepper. It's also really spicy, so there's like definitely some, I think, red chili pepper in there. And I'm just glancing over, and I just noticed there's a tea, like urn with teacups. I think we can drink tea. That's what he meant by tea break. There's actually tea to go with it. is tea to go with it. Lovely. Some tea. Lovely. I'm just grabbing the tea. Getting some tea. So Sam's got his little teacup there. I love my teacup. Let's try some tea. Little sip of tea. Mm. Oh, it's cold tea. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and refreshing. Refreshing. I've mm. already had a bite of this. It's so you good, sure guys. Have. I'm try another one. Mmm. Very crispy. Mm. So when you first bite into it, you notice the saltiness of the seaweed. And then as you bite into the cracker part, which is really crunchy, you get the spiciness of the wasabi flavor. Ooh. So it's salty and spicy. Sounds Just the good. way I like it. Let's do a little, a little trade over here. Oh, well. Because mine has a lot of spices. And it's, it's actually yeah, a little bit spicy. Covered. Yeah, yours is good. But I definitely like this one the most. The ice cream? Uh, one, uh, soy sauce milk. Soy sauce. Mm. 
えこれソイソースねこれ。おお。ミックスミックスね。ミックスミックス。ミックス。メニメニミックスよ。メニメニ。オッケー。Thank you. All right, Sam. This is a very interesting ice cream flavor you've yeah, selected for I'm, us. I'm super pumped to try this. This is from the same shop that we got the rice crackers from. Yeah. If you take a look down here, you can see that it's ice cream, but this is the number one bestseller here. It has soy sauce in it. Soy sauce. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Soy sauce. So that's. <laughs> That's I've what never we imagined dip this, our so. sushi and sashimi in. Ooh. He said we have to mix it really well okay. because the sauce is in the middle. So let's do that then. Ooh, Look at those that. brown swirls. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah, you guys check out how sticky this is. Ooh. Whoa. All right, let's try that. I'm super yeah. curious. I wonder if it's going to be a salty ice cream. Kind of is. Soy sauce it's a little ice bit cream? Su it's sweet too. It's like, it's not that sweet. And it's also not that salty. It's just got, it's, it's not like it's bland. It's just like it's got subtle flavors. Wow, that's, it's fascinating. It's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a nutty taste as well. And mm. I'm, it's funny, you, you notice the soy sauce, the more like, not when you first put it in your mouth, but when you're swallowing it. Let it linger a little a bit. bit of delayed onset. Okay. It's really interesting. Very unique. <laughs> it's weird having the soy sauce as the topping. ice cream. Topping. I know yeah. we've never had that or anything it's close to that. It's very unusual. It's unusual. It's not as sweet as other ice creams. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I would say it's more salty than anything. Yeah. Um, I usually prefer like chocolate ice cream or ice cream with fruits in it. Yeah. So I'm glad I tried it because it yeah. went in Japan. But it wouldn't but be your first choice. Yeah, no, I wouldn't <laughs> be going out of my way to have salty ice cream on a day to day basis. <laughs> This was the one thing that I knew we had to try when we made this street food video here yeah. because I had seen this before. And this is, guys, the heated beef in nigiri form. Yeah. Sushi. It is not cheap. For two of these, it's 700 yen. Yeah. Audrey, you've already had yours. I sure have. And so, yeah, time for me to try it. Let's savor that slowly. Mm. Wow, that's so juicy. It's so much more juicy yeah. than I expected. Mm. I found that like the, the fat from the meat just coats your whole mm. mouth. Oh my gosh, that's some of the best nigiri I've ever had. <laughs> yes, like, with meat instead of again, fish. If only this was cheaper, I'd order a whole set. I'd order, yeah. I'd order a six piece. That's definitely yeah. worth trying. I know the price is high, but... Yeah, if you come all the way to Takayama, you need to try this at least yeah. once. This is the street food. One of the street food dishes they're known for. Yeah, most definitely. So. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Ending on a high note then. Ending on a very high note, for sure. Well, that is a wrap for our Japanese street food tour here in Takayama. That was wonderful. It was. Like, we ate really well, and I'm glad we got to try Hida beef yep. so many different ways. That was a real highlight. Like, that's the dish, that's the food that Takayama is known for. So, yeah. it only made sense. So many different forms. Yeah, so it was fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty full from all those little bites. We hope you guys enjoyed following along, and we'll see you back on the channel with more food and travel videos very soon. That's all for now.